In this video, we will be looking at retelling the story, The Cocky, the Crow and the Hawk. Let's think about the dreaming stories we have read so far. These include The Two Wallabies and The Cocky, the Crow and the Hawk. Both of these stories have animal characters that are creating places and living things, and there is a problem to solve. The dreaming stories we have read so far told how the animals came to be a certain way. For example, how the crow came to be black. Dreaming stories are narratives. A narrative has a beginning, where the characters and setting are introduced, a middle, where there is a problem, and an end, where the problem is solved. Now let's think about the parts of the story in The Cocky, the Crow and the Hawk. When is the story happening? Well, the story takes place in the dreaming. Where does this story happen? The story happens in the area around Yucca Yucca, near Wiramanu, Belgo Hills in Western Australia. Who is in the story? The three birds are the characters, and the story focuses on the relationships among them. Now we are going to recall some of the key events in the story. The key events are the main things that happened in the story. They do not include all the details of the story. When we retell a story, we need to make sure we retell the key events in the order they happen in the story. So let's have a think. What happened at the beginning of the story of the cocky, the crow and the hawk? Well first, there were three birds living together in the dreaming. So I will write, the cocky, the crow and the hawk lived together. The next key event happened in the middle of the story. This was when Cocky and the Crow had a fight. So I will write, The Cocky and the Crow fought and pushed each other into the fire. At the end of the story, the fire made the crow turn black and the Cocky turn white. Then sparks landed on the hawk and turned his feathers brown and grey. Finally, after the fight, the Cocky left. Now I am going to use these key events to write my retelling. The first thing I will need to do though is add a title and an acknowledgement at the beginning to let readers know where the story comes from. So my title will be The Cocky, The Crow and The Hawk and the acknowledgement will be The Cocky, The Crow and The Hawk is a dreaming story belonging to Matangali, Napananka, Majidel, and the Kukachar people. My retelling will have a beginning, a middle, and an end, just like the dreaming story. Remember, at the beginning of the story, we wrote, the cocky, the crow, and the hawk lived together. So I will use this key event to begin writing my retelling. I am going to write, in the dreaming, the cocky, the crow and the hawk lived together. I think it is important to add, their feathers were all kinds of bright colours, because this is really important to the story. Now I will begin writing the middle part of the story. There was a problem, wasn't there? Remember they fought and pushed each other into the fire. I think it might be important to include why they fought. Do you remember? That's right. Cocky was upset that Hawk always gave the best meat to Crow. So I will write, the Hawk always gave the best meat to the Crow. Each day, the Cocky grew hungry and thin. Then I will write, the Cocky and the Crow fought and the cocky 
pushed the crow into the fire. Now it's your turn. We have written the beginning and the middle of the retell together. Use the key events to write sentences that retell the end of the story. Have fun writing and remember to use lots of exciting words.